Hey, welcome back to the Ron Gunner channel. I wanted to do a real quick tip video for you here, and I do mean quick. A lot of people like to use a weapon light on the front of their gun. Now, as you can see, this one's well worn, it's been used, it's been through all kind of training and everything else. So, if you slip this on, say, 1911, uh, you get a full-size 1911. You can see that it is not exactly sticking out past the muzzle. So this one, you really don't have to worry about that much. Okay? But say you stick it on, well, in this case, a VP9. Or a Glock 19, roughly the same size. Even a Glock 17. You see how much more that sticks out. Well, if you don't want to ruin the lens, okay? Now, this is still perfect. You don't want to ruin the lens. People tell you, well, smear Vaseline on it, uh, something like that, uh, and, and let it go ahead and shoot it, and then you can get it off. Um, some people say you can try frog lubing it, let it coat it. What happens, it actually forms a crust from the unburnt powder and the flash coming from the end of the barrel. So the easiest way to do it is to go to Lowe's or uh, Home Depot or even an auto parts store and pick up a rubber cap okay now this could even be the bottom of a bar stool uh, I don't have a tape measure here to give you the exact size so what you want to do the first thing you want to do is drill a hole through the middle or somewhat close to the middle reason being this releases air so here's what you do you take this you take it and you slide it right on like that bam and it covers it and you can shoot all day and never have to worry about the lens. Now, what happened? Why you put the hole in the middle is to release the air, so it's easier to get on, easier to get off. As you can see, now watch, it comes right off. Now, without that hole, it forms like a suction. I can see if I can do it. I'm blocking the hole. You see how much harder it is to get on, and same way getting it off. Okay, take unplug the hole and you get it off like that so you want it to fit but another thing it does is if you have the hole in there and you happen to leave the light on or the light gets kicked on you'll be able to know so you don't kill the battery but this is something these are usually the most i've ever seen these is two bucks and it will protect the lens of your weapon light and yes i did say weapon light because it can be used on a rifle uh, this actual surefire this is the older Surefire X300. Uh, this one's probably, oh God, seven, eight, nine years old maybe. Um, can be used on a rifle, shotgun, or any pistol with Picatinny rail. And they come with different, uh, the different stop locks here. So, but if you want to put it on there, lock it in place. It's in there. It's not going nowhere. Now you can shoot with it all day not have to worry about anything and you're not hurting your lens and that little hole right there in the front that you can see is lit up now with it on there's not going to be that much crud get in there for you to worry about anything and you're protecting the lens and again on a shorter barrel gun where it sticks out past the barrel is really what you have to worry about again if you go to a full size five six inch barrel where it comes over, the barrel actually extends past the light. Yes, it will eventually crud up, but not quite as bad as if the barrel was behind the light. But again, for two bucks or less, you can take care of it. It's a simple fix. Stuff like this is what I hope we bring you a lot more of. Thanks for watching. Tune in. We got a lot more coming down the pike. Thanks.